Good morning and welcome back to my channel and morning devotions with me. Please make sure that you like and subscribe and share with your friends if you haven't already. Today is Thursday, April the 29th, and I wanted to say a great big happy birthday to my eldest daughter, Elizabeth. Uh, today is her birthday, and we are going to be celebrating this weekend. So, something about our children's birthdays, especially the first one, moms confirm this with me. It takes us back. It, that moment you became a mom for the very first time, it could have happened hours ago. That's how fresh it is in the memory. So, I love you, my sweet girl. Of course, our devotions today are coming from The Daily Prophecy by Brenda Kuhneman. I have a link in the description below so you can check out their website. Her and her husband, Hank, have a wonderful ministry in Nebraska. Very prophetic, and I really enjoy what we're doing here. Today's um, devotion is called Throw Your Cares Aside. Let's hear the prophecy. Have I not said, throw your cares upon me? Even this day, throw them my way. I can handle all your anxieties for you. Thank you, Lord. Our scripture is out of 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7. It says, casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. And, you know, I think the Lord, since he's the one who designed and created our body, he knew our bodies could only handle so much stress, which is why he says, cast all those cares on him. He knows about the cortisol. He knows about the chemical reaction that happens in our bodies that causes damage to our heart, to our, uh, our organs. He knows that and he doesn't want that. So it's assuring to me, no matter what it is I'm going through, no matter what care or concern I have, I can cast those things on him and he will give me that rest. Now, releasing them to him and not letting our mind get in the way, that's what the devil exactly wants. He wants us to focus so much on the natural and the impossibility of some circumstances that we're filled with hope, hopeless despair. God said he can do all things and there's nothing impossible with him. He can handle anything and every situation. Romans 8, 28, he works all things together for our good. Let's hear how Brenda expounds on this today. Most of us, when throwing a baseball, never think to throw it softly, unless you're tossing a ball to a toddler, obviously. You always try to throw the ball as hard and as far as you can. When the Lord taught us to cast our cares on him, this was the picture. Not to sound disrespectful, but God isn't a toddler. He can handle a fastball. I like that. Not just lob it over to him, but to literally throw it at him as if it's on fire. I want it out of my hands as fast as possible. It's like hot potato, playing hot potato. You know, you don't want to keep it in your hands. Pass it as fast as you can. On one of my very first jobs, I worked as a bank teller. I'm sorry for the traffic noises, but I love being outside and when the mornings are soft like this, I just can't resist. So we have to deal with honking geese and crashing garbage trucks. Sorry guys. At the end of one day, my cash drawer was short. It was short a large sum of money. I and my supervisors did everything we knew to locate the error, but couldn't. It was Friday evening and I left work filled with worry, fearing I would be fired and knowing I had to bear the thought all weekend. I decided to cast the fear on the Lord and determined not to think about it over the weekend. That was hard to do. And I mean, just in that situation alone, I know I'd be eating my guts out with worry, you know, because it was my drawer. It's gonna look like I was a thief or that I did something and they could not find the error. My goodness, I know I would be eating my heart out in that situation. Each time the thought returned, I resisted it. By the middle of the weekend, I thought of something both I and my supervisors overlooked. 
I told them on Monday and sure enough, another account we hadn't balanced yet was over by the very amount I was short and all the money was accounted for. God did it. I believe casting my care on the Lord gave me the revelation of the answer, enabling me to have a great weekend. Go ahead, throw your worries on the Lord with confidence today. He can handle them. And you know, I have been in that situation as well where it is beyond me. I can't find something. I can't think of something. I can't, you know, figure out the issue. And the minute, the minute I stop thinking about it, the minute I cast and trust the Lord, and I'm in prayer all the time for things, especially if there's a mistake. I don't like making mistakes. I like things being, you know, in order, just right. And if something isn't right, something's out of order, or there's a mistake that would be accounted to me, I'm definitely going over in my mind and rehearsing every step to see if I can locate that mistake because, you know, I want to walk in that spirit of excellence and walk in integrity. But the minute I release it to the Lord, suddenly it's like a photograph movie playing in my mind. He will show me exactly something I hadn't thought of. And then I'm like, wow, thank you, Lord. It is a wonderful feeling. And I have to remind myself, Remember the last time when he showed you this? So that helps me. God is faithful and every time he comes through, that's one less thing the enemy can use against you because you are strengthened, because you remember the last time God came through for you. And so the next thing that comes upon you that the, that the, de the devil tries to use to stir up fear and anxiety and doubt and unbelief, you can remember the last time God came through for you because he's faithful. He's absolutely good. Let's say the prayer today. Father, I cast all my fear and anxieties on you right now. I refuse to be worried and I resist every fearful thought. I know that you are taking care of me. In the name of Jesus, amen. Well, thank you again for spending some time with me today. I hope you're enjoying the different view of my garden. That's my parsley exploding back there. I'll try to find different spots. Some of the spring flowers are dying away and some of the summer ones are gonna be coming up. So it's always such a nice. My jasmine is back there. It's uh, a little traumatized from where we put up the, um, the little terrace or trellising there. And so, I, but I see some new buds coming out. So I know it's gonna be exploding again here pretty soon. But thank you again for spending a little time with me today. Make sure you like and subscribe. God bless you and you have a wonderful day. Bye until next time.